Welcome back, everybody. I'm not gonna hit mission select this time. We're gonna go into the next one. Be prepared for some fucking action. Aw, oh, he ripped our coat, man. That's not cool. out its wound. So you have to have three DT gauges, which are the little orby guys underneath our health bar now. And we can transform into Devil Trigger mode. So first things first, we gotta whack all these things to uh, open the next door we need to go through. Also, apparently there's a fucking ship in here that I don't keep in there is a secret mission that we're not gonna do because of fuck secret missions. You get shit, but they're fucking hard as dicks, so I'm not gonna do them. There's no Only two more. There's a way to get on the ship. Ah, there we go. Fuck! No, Dante, why? If you step in the fucking acid pools, you will get hurt. I'm jumping a lot. All that yellowish, gross looking stuff? Yeah, avoid that. Avoid that. You'll, you'll, uh, be a lot better off. Holy fuck, I just found like a whole shit ton of red orbs. And there's a blue orb fragment, which gives us another blue orb. Yay. Now we need to start working on purple orbs because we need more than fucking three devil turn gauges. Ah, we need to go this way. So that's the door we need to get through. Or no, we need to go this way. Maybe. Yes, this way. There's another one. Don't go 
into the first waterfall. One more task remains. Statue, we can get another fucking devil trigger gauge. And it's now the way is now open. And I know the way. Fuck. I didn't fuck myself. Alright, here we go. Leviathan's intestines. I don't wanna be in here. Disgusting looking goop. Hey, look at the divinity statue. Yeah, let's get that. Oh, we didn't even need that. Oh, so much purple orb. Keep going. That's just fucked up looking. Shit. Keep going, Dante. Move your ass, sir. Move all but you were so fast ten seconds ago. What the fuck, dude? Alright, so we're safe here. I can't get through. Despite the fact that it's trying real hard. I keep forgetting I'm not a sword master. I keep pressing B to try and get my style action. But I don't have style action. I'm not in sword master style. Regular, uh, I'm in trickster style for that dodgy dodge. Oh, I forgot about this room. It eats all of your fucking orbs. Be careful. It will fuck your orbs. This created a weird ass power source thing? Ignis Fatus. Souls of those sent to hell for the sin of jealousy, they are the biased source of energy source. Basically, we made this thing fucking food. And if you might remember that room a couple of years back where I was like, ew, that just looks gross. That's where we're heading again. There's a pedestal there I didn't examine. But we need to put this thing in there. I think I'm heading the right way? I don't know, the camera just kind of like went fucked on me, right there. Let's do this. Oh shit, aw oh, no, I don't have Cerberus. Damn it. Uh, if we can get to the Divinity Statue again, I can swap out for Cerberus real quick. Fucking... Through there? No. Damn it. That's I probably would have needed to swap out servers 
and Trickster. Because that looked like it was a triple S rating. Oh my god, out the servers. Ow, fuck you. Yeah, suck a big dick. So now we're back here. Except now there's assholes everywhere. Fuck you. I don't think the goop hurts that. For reasons that aren't ever explained. But I don't care that much about going back to that combat agitator. So we're just gonna kind of skip that. Keep it. The hardcore. Morgan rats ferociously on the other side of the membranous wall. You can't get any used to get this fuckers. So, basically, what the left thing will constantly eat worms, this guy will constantly eat your devil trigger, and you have to notice there's three health bars, you have to destroy one of them first, one of the two side bits first, and then that, that opens up the center bit, which is the actual boss that you have to kill. I like having my devil trigger, I just got it. So, so let's do it! So your double trigger will actually change slightly based on appearance, based off uh, whichever uh, weapon you're using. So like, with Rebellion, it looks very similar to your human form, just all blood-like instead of, you know, human wearing clothes. And briefly saw... Also, what did I have that Uh, also with this boss fight, whichever form it's using determines the attack of the little thing it uses. With the red orbs, it just shoots these easy to, it's pretty easy to dodge from the piece. The, uh, the devil trigger thing it, it does way harder to dodge. Suddenly we're here with this guy. A 
foundation that brought out fear. Fear. <laughs> this guy's getting kind of creepy yes. with the word fear. Fear. Not sure how I feel about it. Can't you feel it? No. The rage and agonies of the people. Dude, you're getting a Those little like murder hat. here. With their desires for evil being unfulfilled. It was all because Sparta slammed the door to the demon world in their faces. I like how Virgil's just like, I don't give a fuck about anything that you're saying, sir. What's wrong? I forgot to look for the seven, or the eight. I think this is eight now. Shit, at the beginning. Damn it, I knew I forgot something. Look, like we actually did pretty well this mission. Oh, look at that! We got a fucking A. So good. Alright, next mission. This is mission 9, I believe. Uh, my counting is right. We killed the Sky Whale. Hey, look, it's her. And, if I'm not mistaken, watch this. Wait for it. We did not come out of its womb, we came out of its fucking eyeball. Stupid description of the last mission. Gross. It's a lot of blood. Ah, fuck, Chester. So this is the next stage. Wait! If you're asking for a date, forget it. Because I make it a point not to go out with women who shoot me in the head. What's well, pretty thick move. <laughs> I'm not that desperate. Besides, I really don't care for guys who stink like blood. Well, we did just pop out an eyeball full of blood. <sighs> You're right. Uh-oh. Badass team. So, tell me. What's your name? I don't have a name. Okay. Huh. Then what should I call you? I don't care. Whatever you want. Whatever, lady. <laughs> oh, she has a name now. I'll leave this to you. Because I don't want to miss the party. <laughs> and she does have the same control. There's our nine. On the bullet. Oh, nine millimeter. Anyway. Faded memory. Prison the sorceress of the abyss with a blade. Oh fuck! This is the boss in this level. If it's what I'm thinking, is real hard. area of the tower that we're in. Looks like a control device for the bridge. I'll need some special power to move this bridge. Well, guess we're moving then. Ooh, hope no one's an acrophobe who watches this. Because you might have a rough day in this room. Because now we've got giant spider demons. They're not like Phantom. These ones are way creepier looking. Ugh.
Ah, get the fuck off me, bitch. Ow, fuck you. Oh no! Fuck, I wish I had Gunslinger. Spideys. Fuck you, fuck you. Oh, okay. They're all dead. Everything is fine. Again. There is a green orb man up there. I want him. Alright, let's go. Oh, this puzzle. So this puzzle looks kind of intimidating at first, but it's real easy. Radi radiate the image sunken in the depths below to open a new path. So you might follow the beams. We gotta trace, take the beam and hit this one. If you fuck it up, you can use this guy to reset it. So all we need to do is break that, and break that, and look at that, it's fucking that simple. Woot! Let's do this. Yeah, no, this is totally the level I thought it was, and it's gonna get brutal. Also, these fucks are here. Across the way where I can't hit them with my sword. But this guy doesn't have that protection. And soon enough, they won't be there. Because we're going to that side of the pond now. Yeah. I don't know if this power up makes rebellion any do any more damage against enemies, or if it's literally just the only benefit you get double trigger. I mean, the cutscene made it seem like Dante was fucking just unstoppable. He's very much still stoppable. Oh, fuck this, this hallway. This hallway's an asshole. Those things along the sides, they hurt you. Real good, too. Now. I think you can actually, if you're good enough, knock the enemies into the walls. And they'll fucking, they'll get fucked up, too. At least little scrubby enemies that you can actually knock around. Maybe not. I don't remember. I'm just gonna keep fighting and hitting and cutting. Here, once you get to this room, there's a secret stockpile of orbs. Just hanging out, having a laugh. I don't know what the fuck they're doing here. There's a nice green guy. Ah, oh, fuck you! Damn it. Damn it. Uh, fuck! Damn it! I suck. Shit. Okay. 
gonna carefully get that fucking green orb. And then come over here and grab all these red guys. I believe you can just drop down over here. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So you come back around this way. This is a thing we can't do yet. The words restore the words restore the mask's sacred energy and the power to part oceans will be yours. Or written. And then over here, we got something we can't do yet. There's a combat educator over there, but his flames are purple. We don't have a weapon that uses that matches that yet. So that's something to do in the future. But up here, you'll find a fucking a big ass rifle. That I'm probably not going to use ever because I don't think I've ever used it once. Well, it seems like we can make that jump. We can't. The game won't let us. So, gotta keep going this way. Into the cool waterfall cave. Fuck. I wanted to get that other orb. So, I think up here. Oh shit, this is a secret mission. Destroy. Secret mission 5. Destroyer. Destroy every destructible background object. Time. Time. Fuck. There's a lot of fucking bottles in this bar. Yeah. Fuck, gotta go up here. Break all this shit. Gotta get back behind the bar. Break all that shit. Jukebox. Break all that shit. Oh shit, I'm missing four. Two. Damn it, secret mission. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That's all that's up here. I think I've made my stance on secret missions abundantly clear at this point. Hey, Dante. I'm gonna fucking target this guy and fuck his shit up. This way it is a bit of a little area that contains an item. A devil star. Could come in handy. Restores your devil trigger gauge. Get back up here. Keep moving on. Oh shit, I don't have the thing for this. Well, this was a waste of time. A relief of a nude female is carved on the door. It looks like something can be placed in the woman's hand. We don't have the thing to place there yet. Ow! 
Stop kicking my ass. Nothing could possibly go wrong in this creepy ass fucking room. Ambrosia, fruit that mankind is forbidden to even touch. It is said to unlock the door to paradise. Blast off. And we're back to the spiders. I hope you didn't miss them. Please don't explode into baby spiders. I can't deal with that right now. Oh good. I think when they split in half, they're definitely not gonna do that. If there's oh fuck, they don't! That doesn't breaking in half doesn't mean jack shit! Kill it with fire. Not out of the fight yet. Oh, no, nope, maybe we are. Okay. Accidentally hit the button. Oh. I don't think there's a green guy in here. Which is really mean. If you ask my, my opinion on the subject. To make you run through this fucking hallway. And not even give you a green orb man. To heal you back up. After you fight the fucking spider bitches. Also running through this hallway backwards. Because the camera is fixed. I can't fucking move it right now. It is real fucking difficult. You gotta be real careful. Not to cut those corners too much. Alright. Now we can go to this guy. Get us a gold orb. I could have bought another purple orb, but I think we're good on Devil Trigger right now, and we could really use a gold boy. I would have really liked a blue boy, because he would have revitalized us before this boss fight, but beggars can't be choosers. These guys drop lots of green. Green orbs for me. Ooh, a white orb. Restores your, uh, devil trigger gauge. This boss fight is not easy. It's fairly difficult. She's got very good attacks that are very difficult to dodge. Alright, we used the Ambrosia to open the door to paradise. Sunken Opera House? Holy bats, Batman! I mean, that lady. <laughs> hmm. Welcome, Provocative. Is Dante this your first Nice. Time here? Yeah, it is. You'll be nice to me, won't you? 
<laughs> of course I will. I'll treat you so nicely. You'll never want to leave. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> She doesn't seem very amused by this. She can breathe electricity. Come on, sugar. So first things first, you gotta take care of all her fucking bats. That she uses as a fucking shield. Ow! She fucking shot the shit. Fuck, we really gotta listen to what she's saying. Because they telegraph her the way she what she says telegraphs what pack she's using on the next. And then once you break all her bats, she begins to dissolve into a pool of blackness. You gotta get out of it before it closes on you. Otherwise she'll fuck your shit up. Not good enough, honey. I usually use Swordmaster's ability to throw the to throw the rebellion at her to kind of help deal with some of the bats from the range. But since I'm rolling with Trickster right now, gotta make new plans. Ah, fuck! I didn't get out of there. So like that, every time she says how's this, she's gonna send bats at you. That, she's gonna spin around and fuck your shit up. You gotta watch out for this attack. It fucking sucks if you're up close. It does so much damage. Let's get a little Agni and Udra though. Oh fuck. So with that attack, she literally just made the entire floor electric. If you don't time your jump right, you're fucked. Oh, that's why I can't have a jump. Shit. Ow. I've had a better time, I'm not gonna lie. Miss Nevin. Let's do this. So, much like in most Devil May Cry games, when you need to jump to dodge like the floor, you can use your fucking guns to hold yourself in the air a bit longer. Ow, fuck you. I'd recommend getting having air hike for this fight. It makes a world of difference. Maggie and Root just fucking her up pretty good. Which Agni and Rucha do have air hike this ability. I just haven't gotten around to doing that. Ah, fuck you. Oh, see, like that? She got me with that attack there. Ooh. Ah, shit! And then I hit no. Fuck! Oh, at least we're right back here. With full health, but not full devil trigger, which kind of sucks. Oh, well, could be worse. Not good enough. That's her easiest attack to avoid. That attack can be rough if you're in the middle of a combo. You gotta get the fuck away. Like I said, listening to what she's saying to you is the key to winning this fight. Fuck.
hanging on. Yeah, the style action with Swordmaster where you throw Rebellion is real good for fighting her. Because it just constantly kills her fat cheek. Your easiest attack to dodge. Let's do this. I'd recommend trying to get your Devil Trigger up for those moments and just try and deal as much damage as you physically can. Fuck. When you see the floor light up like that, that means she's doing her aerial attack and it's gonna fucking wreck your shit. Or her attack that's gonna be completely... Oh, shit. Ow, god. Let's do this. Got me, she got me good there. Come on. I believe once you get her down to her last little bit of health, she switches tactics up completely and it becomes a fucking pain in the ass to kill her. But, I think we got this. Shit. Shit. Fuck you, bitch. Let's see if she's gonna start doing it now. Yep. So... You have to try and keep your distance from her now. Because she's gonna try and teleport and give you a hug, and it's gonna drain your fucking health. Fuck. Didn't mean to hit that. So yeah, if she grabs you right now, when she's going for- when she goes for the hub, she'll fuck your day up. Ah, shit, like this! See, she's, she's healing herself at my fucking expense, you bitch! Yeah! Got her though. Oh no. My, you're sweet. That's interesting. I just kicked your ass. Oh. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Right in the abdomen. All right. I'll help you. That's an interesting take on this. Your father was a handsome devil. But you're no slouch yourself. Alright, this is probably the weirdest weapon in this entire game, because Nevin becomes a guitar. Which we then jam out on, on this stage that suddenly has pyrotechnics and shit. But Nevin's not just a guitar, no. Nevin can also be used as a melee weapon. Well, it is a melee weapon. It's one of your devil arms. But it's also a scythe. Because, why the fuck not? It also summons bats. 
like Kevin did. Nevin, Dante can control bats by jamming on this curious guitar. It's sickle attack is deadly. And we got the next style, style of trickster. Hold the left stick in any direction and press B to... Oh, yes, we got midair dodging now. And double dash. Cool. That one will come in handy. Kick some ass, lady. Oh shit, she's running out of ammo. Alright. So, the lady's supposed to be human, but there's no fucking way any human is this good. Look at this shit. Shit, back. man. That was fucking badass. Also, where does she keep the bazooka? I feel like we actually did pretty well there. Aside from dying that one time. Nice. And this is probably where I'm going to leave it for today. I know only a couple missions, but these missions are way longer than the missions in the other games. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.